Hamilton with it back. My first guest is a comedian and actor who has starred in numerous films, including Barbershop and the original Kings of Comedy, beginning this Friday. You can see him in the new movie, The Honeymooners. Please welcome Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> Going. You can't right just here. do that and go. <laughs> right. Good night, everybody. Good night. That, that was, was it. it for me. I turned around you twice. Guys are beautiful. I'm out of here. Yeah. That's it, man. How yeah, you doing? I'm doing really well. Let me just ask you quickly. Uh, every time you come on this show, and this is something I, I, I love about you, you're very funny, but you also you you dress. You dress so well. And I'm curious, did you always dress this way? Did yes. You... I, as an infant, I was a very snazzy, <laughs> <laughs> snazzy dresser. Not yeah. those huggies, mom. The yeah, other yeah. ones. They I want these the ones. Shoes. Yeah. But look no. at you. This looks great. Thanks, you know? man. I, you know, I try to put together a few little outfits. You know, I get in the closet. You know, my wife dresses me still. You know. <laughs> right. I want to be responsible, but my wife does it. Right, you know? right, yeah. right, right. You know, it was a good day. You know, I heard about the whole Russell Crowe thing, and, you know, my movie's coming out, so I jumped out the car and threw my cell phone at someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people, yeah, because... No he's, news! His, no his, news His movie's coming out Friday. He throws this, uh, he throws this phone. And get and, news. Yeah, yeah, and it, it generates a lot of interest. You gotta do stuff like that to Nothing get people happened. excited about your film. Nothing happened. Right. Nobody called, nobody got upset. Right. The guy picked up the phone. You're like, here, guy, you know, you threw your phone. <laughs> I think you dropped hey, this. Hey, buddy, you Cedric, threw your I'm phone afraid, at me. yeah, I'm afraid like, you dropped nah, this. Didn't yeah, work. Didn't I was happen. trying to get on the news. I uh, didn't work out. I saw, I don't know when this was. I'm gonna, is this a month ago? I'm, I'm watching TV, I'm flipping around, and I see you doing the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Yeah. And uh, which is, uh, I, I got to do this a bunch of years ago when Clinton was president. Oh, I was really, I was scared. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but was I was, sca I was scared when I, uh, when I, when I did it. Uh, but it's a, it's an unusual experience. And then I see you doing it. You did, you were hilarious. I thought you did a great job. But I'm curious. First of all, how did they, how did you hear about this? Well, I mean, they call you. You get that weird call like in the morning from the White House. It's the White House. And I'm like, man, this has got to be an episode of Punk. Where is that? <laughs> Where is Ashton Kutcher, man? Right, no right. way the White House is calling me. I, you know, I'll Do they call them. you at home? Yeah, or... they, I don't know how they get that number. It's a very private number. I don't know. <laughs> you know it's like, how do y'all get this number? You know, and he's like, this is a joke. But, you know, and they do the whole background check. Because yeah, they go, like, two weeks, you got to do the background check. And, they, I mean, they check you thoroughly, you know, for these right. jokes. And, you know, and I, I mean, I passed. I was able to do the jokes. And I also, I don't have prostate cancer. So that's... Uh... <laughs> Everything worked out I was fine. Like, These are jokes, guys. <laughs> just comedy. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. You know. But did you, know. you like? Uh, I mean, I, I saw you were doing. Uh, you were. You were yeah. jo doing jokes about Condoleezza Rice. Yeah, did, Connie, And she seemed to have a good sense of humor she, about it. She was. She was very nice about it. I mean, you know, I just think you know, at, on at jobs, everybody has two two sides. You know, and, and at work, she's Connie. You know, the the nice lady that's you know with the nice hairstyle, and then she's Deliza at home with her <laughs> hair and rollers wrapped up watching Comic View. <laughs> 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 Oh, my goodness. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, I mean, Connie's the employee of the month. Deliza is on the parking lot. Tell me, I know you took my paper clips. I know you took my paper clips. <laughs> she was laughing really hard, though. And that's so always she... funny. To yeah, that. Okay. yeah. She had a good time. Yeah. Did you get to hang out with any of them at all, or not Or not really? No, I did, uh, you know, I hung out with uh, Obama Baraka, the, the new senator. You know, he's the new uh, young Barack black Obama, senator. Yeah, yeah. yeah Baraka. Um, and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, introducing bills that, you know, are interesting to the young people. You know, see if he can get us a tax credit for rims and tires, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have 30... I don't own a house, but I got 30000 on this Escalade. I really could use, really could use a break. An incentive program, yeah. Please yeah. help me. Got to get more people getting Escalades. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is a good idea. But you had, a, you had a good time, and what's it like? When did you... I'm trying to remember how it worked when I was there, but they have some kind of reception beforehand where you get to meet yeah, the president briefly. Yeah, well, you're drinking earlier. You know, you come in, and everybody's, like, getting really sloshed. Right. And then the president comes in, you got to play it off. Oh, Mr. President, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It is yeah. an honor. Yeah, yeah. Get out of it. It is an honor, sir. I was smashed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't know they was going to drink it. The thing is, I had brought my own stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> really? You 
cognac stuff on yeah, you. What did you have? You know, what did you bring along? A little, a little cognac. Come on. A little cognac. Yeah. Very, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Classy. It's yeah, good. Classy. I like it. Nice I like it. A little small bottle, though, from the air, airplane. Yeah. Those are fine. Yeah. I like those. You can keep those in your hat, you know, wherever you go. Yeah. Now, That's let me ask. Place. Thanks. <laughs> you didn't know yeah, about that. I wear a lot of hats. Do you ever, anyone good. ever sees me walk around wearing a hat? I got some booze in there. <laughs> it's the only time I wear a hat. Oh, and that little curly thing. You do that. Right I there. keep you stuff in there, too, yeah. God. Yeah. I got some uh, Hennessy right in here right now. Shh, there you go there, buddy. I can I can squeeze it out into your drink. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right there for you. Nice. Yeah. yeah, sorry about the moose. Uh, yeah. That's a bad taste. Now, I want to ask you about this, the movie, The, the Honeymooners. The Honeymooners, uh, this is the movie based on that the classic Jackie yeah. Gleason television show from the 50s. Now, that TV show takes place in Brooklyn. Right. And what's interesting is that the movie is supposed to take place in Brooklyn, but you guys shot it in Ireland. Right. Why Ireland? Well, Dublin is the new Brooklyn. It is... <laughs> It's the latest. Right, no. right. No, we, we were there. It was my family reunion, so we were all over there for that. Oh, you were over there for that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Uh, really? Black Irish. Black Irish. Yeah. So, no. well, what, what's, the, what's your last name? Yeah, Shaughnessy the Entertainer Oh my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh... So you and Shaquille O'Neal are over there. Yeah, and all of us here yeah, hanging, <laughs> big family <laughs> gathering. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy, my uncle. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. And And was it... If you're shooting a movie in Ireland and you're trying to say it's Brooklyn, what do you do to make Ireland look like Brooklyn? What did the film company do? I don't know. I mean, we, we it's not a lot of black people over there. So, no, I mean, there are not, no. We had, like, the same two extras the whole time. We were kind of <laughs> switching them around, like putting Groucho Marx mustache on. <laughs> Put the guy back in here. Walk, walk by again, circle, yeah. Walk back by. And change your hair. Put right, on a hat. Right, right. Same guy. <laughs> same guy. Yeah, yeah no, you, you noticed that in the background. Yeah, yeah, he did all right for himself. Now, did you have, you, uh, of course, you're a great performer. You do shows usually wherever you travel. Did you do any uh, performances when you were over there in Ireland shooting the movie? No, no but, you know, they have a big community of street performers. Mm -hmm. And so I did, I tried to expand my horizon. I, and I, uh, I learned the river dance and uh, <laughs> Tinelli. Tinelli, yeah, river yeah, dance yeah. Tinelli. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get those legs up there if you're doing the... I made some I made a couple of euros. Yeah. Ah, uh, the yeah. euro. Yeah, the euro. I the, love the euro. I don't know. The euro, the dollar is getting pounded over there by the euro. It's amazing. I, I was just in Paris, as I said, uh, uh, last, last week, and uh, it is something like uh, the, the exchange rate is so bad for the dollar right now yeah. that I think it cost me $600,000 to buy a crepe. You know, <laughs> right? But I did the calc. You're doing the calculations doing later the on, time. and you get cry. Like yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a few euros. That'll be fine. And then you do the calculations later on. And you're like, oh my god. That's, right. that's how you do it because you know, you get very cocky in America. You let me get a coke. You know what? Go ahead and let me get a diet. You know what? Make it a real coke. How much is that? That's, uh, that, that's six euros. Right. Hey man, that's twelve dollars. No man. <laughs> no, I'm not spending twelve dollars on no coke. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Everything well, is a translation, you know. Right, right, right. It's rough. It was good. I, I made some euros, gave it all back. There's a lot of gambling over there, too. They have little gambling places, like, right, you know, right in the middle of the street. You can just stop, and it looks like somebody's house, and you walk in, just in there, in there, throwing craps. A lot like, I think you just wandered into somebody's house. like Brooklyn. Right. Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just go into anyone's house, and they're yeah. there, and you take their money. Yeah. And... People are gambling. Now, uh, I want to ask you the... Uh, the, the the show, The Honeymooners, in it, there's this famous thing that, Ra that Ralph Cramden, Jackie Gleason, used to do, which is he'd always say to his wife, Alice, to the moon, Alice, and, like, kind of threaten to hit her. Yeah. Do you do that in the movie? I wanted to so bad, but... Uh... <laughs> No, you can't. You know, it's not politically Times correct. Have, well, Times that was have funny changed. in the 50s, but... I don't know why you can't threaten to beat your wife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? What is wrong with people losing up? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, it, it, you know, so we had to change a few things in there. A lot of the, you know, I couldn't do, like, hamana, hamana, hamana. Nobody knows what that means nowadays. Right, right, you know, right. Hamana, 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 you right, know. Right. Especially a black guy. Everybody was like, what are you talking about? So, <laughs> no black know, person yeah, does hamana, 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 right, hamana right. you know. So, and then, uh, and then, you know, so, and baby, you're the greatest. And then, uh, to the moon, we made it uh, sweeter, you know, kinder. And I, more of a romantic, you know, I want to take you to the moon.
Oh, that's that's very sweet. Okay, thanks. I was looking for one of those. <laughs> They held out for a while. Yeah, they, they held out and they were like, like nah, let's give it to them. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Crowd? Yeah, everybody started. <laughs> uh, we have a clip here. What do All we right. need to know for this clip? This is, uh, this is a, one thing you need to know, Conan. This is an exclusive kip, clip just for... Uh, it's a kilt. Yeah. <laughs> we'll drink a little more yeah, of that hair yeah, juice. Yeah. <laughs> this is powerful yeah. stuff. This is very powerful stuff. Thank you, thank you my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, on this is a great kilt. <laughs> Look at all of it. It's from the Moody Hitters. This is a great kilt. No, this is uh, this is basically a direct. Uh, we took a few things right off the show, and this is uh, Ed and I played by Mike Epps at the pool hall, and this was that one of those famous scenes that we did right from the show, but we put it in the movie. Great. So you check Let's this take a look at this from the Honeymooners. Yeah, man. You do angry well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm yeah, getting yeah. nervous. <laughs> uh, the Honeymooners uh, opens Friday, so go check it out. Thanks so much for coming hey, by. Thanks, Always man, hilarious. Right on, right on. Cedric Antana, Michael Palin coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.